Hello and welcome back to Maple Farms. It is now early July. It's uh, 10 past 8 in the morning. Dog is fed. The family are good and we've got jobs to do. Look at the cows, they are living their best life. Just chilling in the shade of the tree. Sorry, didn't mean to start you, love. Um, yeah, so last time out, we filled our clamp. Overnight, I have uh, ensured it is compact. So if I bring up the info, you can see we've got 518,000 litres of chaff in here. And we're not even half full. We need lots of fields, lots of meadows. We'll fill this one day and uh, just sell it all. Loads of money. Um, so yeah, what we need to do is uh, get it compacted. Oh, compacted, get it blanketed. So we'll uh, do that. And uh, we'll leave it to do its thing, and we'll come back in a month or two. We'll uh, load the robot feeder, and we will sell a ton of it. Now, at first, I wasn't sure what else we'd be doing today. Um, I thought we'd be going out getting some contracts or something, but it turns out our oats are all golden and grown, and they are ready to be harvested. Look at that. That looks nice. The, uh, everyone's in. That also means it might be hard to get the equipment we uh, we want for harvest if we're not quick. So yeah, we're going to be getting our oats in today. Uh, this is for sale, so this should make us some money because uh, we just want the straw. We want the straw for bedding for our cows and for some TMR. So what we need to do is pass our way over to the store, lease us a harvester, header, trailer, that sort of thing and uh, get stuck into this, it's a good one. Um, with all the grass work that we've been doing, it's gonna be nice to uh, be doing a harvest here in Maypole. I thought I'd take a little stroll up to the store rather than driving, driving and driving. Um, we'd have to leave a tractor behind if we came up anyway, because we'll be driving the harvester back. A lovely morning though, so we're uh, stretching our legs, getting some air in before we sat in the cab. The harvester we're going to be going for today is the New Holland TX32. I don't think we've used this yet in uh, FS22. Lovely mod, this one. Uh, wasn't in the base game this time around, so uh, yeah, I, I can't remember for the life of me if this is Mod Hub or somewhere else. So uh, if not, I shall uh, put a link in the description. This is what we're going to be going with. I mean, we could buy it. That is always an option here. It's only 55 grand. And it's probably the right size for us, hence why we're leasing it. It's the right size for our farm. We we have one small arable field and we're going to have one larger arable field, but this will get that job done. So uh, this could become a future purchase, but for now we're going to lease it. Give it a try, see how it goes. We've had a little wait, but the lads have uh, brought it around for us, as you can see. Beautiful little harvester. I do like this. I do like the old style stuff, the square boxy stuff. Although we have gone for a more modern header on it. Um, the uh, the header that comes with the uh, TX32 is, um, I think, four meters, whereas this one is uh, three and a half. So, not three and a half, five and a half. That would make no sense if we come smaller. So we've gone for a slightly larger one and uh, plenty of room on the trailer to uh, get it on. I'm not going to have them issues that I have <laughs> at other harvest attempts, we hope. So, start her up. I mean, we're going to get her unfolded and ready before we get going as well, I think. So, let's have a little uh, loot inside before we head off. Very nice. I do like, as always, I do like. Yeah, we're going to enjoy this. So, we're going to get it back to the farm, and we're going to get our oats in. Ooh, someone was a little bit late on that one. Look at that. What a waste. What a waste. You hate to see it, don't you? You hate to see it. Oh, that's a big field as well. Look at that. Oh, gutted. Absolutely gutted for them. That's going to cost at the end of the year. It is nice having the cows in on that field. Um, as you come in, seeing them in there. Then once once we've got a few more of them, which we will chop open to do very soon, we should have some calves as well soon. Uh, we'll then look to start getting the beefers on there. 
getting a different stock. But they do belong over there. They'll go over there later in the year. And uh, I've said before, we will continue to move the cows. We'll uh, do it so we either put a, a pasture out in another field or we'll lease a, uh, a, a barn for them from another farm and we'll just have to ferry them to and from when we want to do stuff. Right. I don't know why I'm negotiating the bush. But it's just driven over the meadow. I guess it's, you know, it's good. You shouldn't be driving through the grass if we want to cut it and use it for feed. Yeah, I should be using this track. Now, in the winter months, I've got to spin my head around then, but you can't see anyway. We will uh, be cutting down that hedge and those trees. There'll be a few more marked to be gone soon as well. Now, I've got to keep the small arable. I did um, question whether to have a... We're going to drive on the grass because I've got to get the header off and stuff. And last time I didn't give myself enough space. Um, yeah, I was debating whether to put that through and um, cut that cut that all off and put this into one. But we're going to keep the small field for now. But I will be making a large field over yonder with the two new fields. They will become one large arable over there. Ooh, hello, Mr. Tree. Let's back this up a bit. So there we are. Lovely job. Oh, I do like harvest season. It is exciting because harvesting often coincides with bailing. Now I need to make sure that I am set to uh, drop my swath. We have got our swath on. So, start her up. Looks very nice as well. <laughs> it's encouraging when the visuals are looking good. Just need my gameplay to be on point. Oh yeah, we are going to do a headland. Uh, I will need room to turn around and to get stuff done. Now I think we should have a good yield on here. Um, hopefully, if I bring up my little mini map, it will tell me it is. That's good, because before we've done some things and I haven't always had that pop up, but it is telling me this time, so. Perhaps there's been another update that's fixed some more things in the background, who knows? <laughs> who knows these days? But yeah, that is a, a great yield. Probably the the best a man can get. Our yield is good. So back that up a bit. And we'll uh, spin our ways around. Lovely. Don't worry, I won't do this all in cam, but I don't do it very often, and I'm going to spoil myself, because I'm in a good mood today. Today is a good mood day. The sun is out. A um, little bit of an early evening one for me today. The house is quiet. I've managed to get the boy to go to fall asleep. Oh, not managed to get him. He just fell asleep early. There's nothing to do with me. Um, so, yeah, we, we have a little bit of daylight recording. Got the sun coming through the window. A little bit too much for my fancy, if I'm honest. But it's there. Um, yeah, having a good time. Now, something that I want to ask today. I've often asked many questions throughout the course of uh, these episodes. Um, or it's more, an o more of an observation, probably. I don't know. Anyway. Um, I, I'm sure, like many others, uh, follow Virtual Farmer. And quite recently... This is, once again, for those who uh, like it, that'll put a timestamp on when we're recording these episodes as to when they go out. Uh, Virtual Farmer put out a post on his community feed asking whether people would prefer him to use jump cuts to progress through jobs on the farm or whether... Because he did a rare occasion where he put a time lapse in. And... A lot of the people 
I think it, at, the, at, the, at the moment it has uh, quite a resounded sort of seventy percent for time lapse. But but the people that are more vocal in the actual comments say they prefer a time jump or, or a, like a cut and then a move on part way through the job and then have a little bit of a chatter and a little bit of what's going on and then a jump to near the end of the job, see it finish, have a little bit of chatter. Um, now, I've always said since when I very first started that I prefer that and I try to incorporate that in my channel. Um, but people <laughs> came along and they, they said they prefer a bit of a time lapse and they don't want to listen to me talk so much. And <laughs> but I think maybe at the start my chatter wasn't so good and I was talking through all the wrong bits and we weren't seeing the jobs and stuff like that. Oh, we are halfway full. Um, so yeah, I was wondering, for those of you that are still here watching at this point, um, what do you prefer? Would you prefer less time lapse and more maybe jump cuts? So that's a way of bringing the videos down in, in length, I think, as well. Because if I do a time lapse, usually I like to show the whole job or as much of the job as I can. But that's still a minute. Whereas if we could just do a small jump and then a jump and a jump, maybe that would be half that time. So over the course of maybe three time lapses in a video, that could save you two minutes on video. I don't know. I'm just trying to find ways to try and uh, keep you guys engaged, see what it is you would prefer to watch while you're here. Um, because obviously retention is an important part of this to be successful. And if people don't want to stick around for the full length of my video, then what can I do to help encourage you to stay? Uh, I always ask for feedback. Um, no one ever tells me why it is they've left a video <laughs> after five minutes. No one ever says, oh, Mr. Farquhar, that was terrible, or you sound terrible. I was going to swear there, I'm not trying not to. You sound terrible or I don't like what you're doing, why don't you do this, or do that. Um, and, you know, if, if people listen further, they know that I want that feedback. That's the only way I can uh, improve what I'm doing. And I know some people will be screaming at their phones and their TVs and their computers saying, we don't want to see Ian Cab. It's very rare you get any Ian Cab anymore. Uh, but this just makes more sense for me while I'm chatting that I'm sitting here <laughs> in the cab. Uh, being myself so uh, yeah just always looking for feedback um, I, 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 I take no offense to anything anyone says um, I always say it's not that it's not important to me it's just that I need it to grow so yeah let me know what you're thinking let me know what you'd like to see and uh, if you are happy with the content and you enjoy how it's put across and how it's presented make sure you give them videos a big fat thumbs up and if you are someone that gives a video a thumbs up, but don't watch a video all the way through, let me know why. What is it? Like if, you, if you give it a thumbs up and you like it, why don't you stick till the end? These are all things that I'm intrigued by. This isn't me like moaning or having a pop or complaining. I'm just trying to understand the psyche of it all and how I can uh, improve. So I'm going to stick the uh, Multiva on the back of the jump there, but I just need to take the sides off. So if we go customize configuration, there we are. Beautiful job. All right, let's jump back in, Johnny. Attach, and uh, let's go, go make our first unload. Being uh, an older machine, the uh, TX32 does seem to have a much slower unload on the pipe, which is expected, I'd say, it's an older machine. But it's, uh, it's one of those nice bit of nostalgia things again, in the same way that I like using the, um, the uh, CR5. It just reminds me of, uh, that reminds me of MS15, whereas this one, uh, although not that old, puts me in the mindset of like early game for uh, FS19. Start a new map, you generally always came in with the TX32. Uh, 
just them little things. It's them little things we enjoy. <laughs> So I'll just make my way down to that end and uh, I think we'll have enough room to turn around on this side. Over there we've got a little bit more runoff so we should be alright. And uh, I'll pop in one of them juicy time lapses, we'll uh, get through this and we'll see what's left of our day and the things to do. I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of sh** come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f***ing hours It takes to get some power Don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower Scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder And f*** all the doubters They're just your downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm off at these f***ing clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown I think we should be able to get this whole field in here. Uh, it depends on the weight, as uh, as is often the case. But we've uh, probably only got a couple of passes left. I can <laughs> see through the trees. Lovely chill. That's been quite a nice relaxing uh, morning's work as it is. It's now half past 12, just keeping track of my day. Uh, so we should have time to, uh, I was going to say, bail this up. But we'll probably load it up uh, with a wagon. Um, we'll put it, we'll fill the feeder as much as we can. And uh, we'll see what we've got left. The feeder might take all of this. And then when we do... No, sorghum's not going to give us straw. So then when we do our next harvest, we'll... Uh, have more hopefully because we'll do it from this field and sorghum no not the sorghum from whatever we put in there so there'll be probably wheat in both uh, this one and the, big, the new bigger one that we make um, so yeah we might do do like uh, load a wagon this field again and then bale the other ones so we keep some straw bales for the TMR feeder, for bedding. Uh, but I think to put it in the bedding, it needs to be either loose or put through a blower or a, a straw chopper shredder thing. So we might have to purchase one of them or lease one of them. Purchase would be uh, better because we're going to need to use it you know, quite frequently. We won't have to be popped to the store to lease a uh, bale shredder <laughs> once a week or something stupid. Sure, if I've given myself quite enough room, going to end up uh, putting a dent in the mass, in the massy, in the uh, in the deer. Now, if we had a uh, the six meter um, TX32 header, I think we'd be finished on this pass because uh, that would have accumulated up and got rid of that strip that's left. I, I wasn't sure if we had another um, light six meter header, and so that's why I went for the five and a half. But it's, it's done it in good speed. I mean, if we move over, we can collect that a little bit. 
it's uh, it's taken a few in-game hours, but it's not been uh, a long process for myself. Been enjoyable. I got me a uh, can of ultra gold on the go, so uh, we are doing fine. Plenty of energy. Gonna be hyped for the night, that's for certain. Just get in there. Hopefully this will go in. It'll be a little bit frustrating if we have that tiny amount. Um, if there is a tiny amount left, we'll just uh, stick it in the silo and we'll save it up until next time we do a uh, oat harvest. It's never a problem. It's just something else that sort of sits around and waits, I guess. Right. Straighten ourselves up to it. Hopefully that'll all go in. Pensively wait, and it does. All in there, lovely job. Right. We'll uh, move this out onto the meadow. I'll get someone from the store to come and collect it. I'll give them a bell. And uh, we'll go and sell our oats. So someone from the store is going to collect the harvester for us and I've had a little ring around to find out the best price and at the minute the uh, cereal factory have uh, we're offering what was it, uh, 1360 some odd uh, pounds per thousand uh, that's the best price so that's where we're going to go it's not exceptionally high but oh shit we've got some inertia <laughs> Uh, sorry about that, mate. I'll let you go through, sir. Sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, but because it is oat harvest, it's going to be the lowest price because everyone's doing it. If we we kept it in our silo for six months, then obviously uh, we'd get a better price. But we want to try and make sure we've got some money. Um, we want to buy, like I say, we want to buy a straw blower. At some point, we'd like to buy a third tractor, uh, second hand. I have been keeping an eye on it. There's not one there now. The, uh, the Phoenix with the uh, the crane on the back is there, and there is a Flegel Ball trailer. I am quite partial to a Flegel Ball, but we don't need anything of that size. Um, as you can see, this harvest doesn't even fill this trailer. Down here is where we want to go. Oh, nearly missed it. So yeah, we don't need a ball. Maybe one day, because I do like them. I do like the Flegel uh, stuff, to be fair. So so this is the cereal factory here. This is where they want us to uh, leave it. Um, I'm sure they've got some other sort of facilities here and we're not just dumping it on the floor. But if this is what they want, <laughs> this is what we'll do. Let's watch our money rock up. We love watching our money go up. There we go, 24 grand, or oh, nearly 25 grand. And uh, 1,371 to our um, environmental school. I mean, I'm not sure how you'd get a negative for it. I guess if you just sort of, I don't know, dumped it down the government drain if you had that mod running. <laughs> I guess that would be a little bit negative. So, uh, yeah, all good. 166 grand. Say so the lease, and I think costs about three and a half grand in total, so that, that's not too bad at all. Now they did query whether we wanted to uh, keep the uh, 32, um, since we do have our sorghum coming soon, but that field is a lot bigger, uh, probably twice the size if not more, so uh, I, th I did say we'll probably be looking to get something a little bit bigger, um, so they're going to try and keep that in mind for us. I'll let them know closer to the time what we're after. So next up we'll get the loader on the back. Now I did contemplate getting the uh, the Massey out for this, but it's all set up for bale movement and stuff like that, so uh, rather than having to uh, just take everything off, we'll just go with a job. Mr. JD, son. That's got a little bit more oomph to it, so uh, hopefully It'll go nice and smooth. 
does the light look nice? Come across the meadow. Everything off in the distance, the trees, the light, the summer sun. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely love it, I do. So start up. Now we got a good yield, so we should have got a fair old bit of straw down here. Should, I think this will more than fill the feeder, I imagine, anyway. As always, I'm never, never very good at estimating this sort of thing. So we just we just go with it. Just Farquhar's guesses. There we go, round and round. Lovely, kind of straight lines. I did that pretty good. Sometimes I'm a little bit super weavy. I think uh, there are parts where we miss some. Um, I was too worried about going around scooping up for a few extra. I suppose it'd been like a couple of quid. It's all right. Now, I'm not sure this field might want ploughing up this time around. It's had a few cycles. It's been hard to keep track with the uh, the, up, the update and the reset of stuff, but I think it might be due a plough. That was why I was considering um, the grass, but I think we'll go with uh, at least one more harvest of something else in here. Whether we can. Whether we wait and hold out for, like I say, wheat or barley, and we'll just do wheat and barley in all the arable land. Um, just so we have one really big one. I think that would be a good idea, personally. Obviously, let me know in the comments what you think is important to me. I do like to know whether I take action on it is another thing. I do like to know what people are thinking and then a sort of one of the things we can adapt and do it a different way another time. obviously go in. It's going to take a lot. Got these uh, <laughs> two extra bales here. Uh, they're not going to go down until the cows move back in. But they are, they're like partial bales. Yeah. Anyway. Where is that at? 5,000? They're both 5,000 and they think they were 9,000 bales. So, yeah. We, what we do have straw-wise anyway. 6,600. Oh, it'll definitely take everything off that field. Everything. Uh, so, since it is all going to go in here, what I might do is get this all done and uh, come back to you guys when I'm on the last load. Because if not, it's just going to be a lot of uh, me weaving through the farm. And sometimes, because I have to move the camera about, if I time-lapse that, that can get a little bit, a bit flickery and jumpy in the end product and uh, it's a bit like logging if you have to move the camera about a lot during uh, time lapse it can become quite nauseating so I won't do that to you uh, so you can come back to me when uh, the job is almost done or on our fast our last our fast load on our last load plus if you jump to the end I haven't got to talk and I won't mess up any more words <laughs> So this has been going uh, pretty well. It's now ooh, coming up to half past four. And I think that's that full. It's just, uh, so I say, it's been going pretty well. Straw. I think that is it. That's as much as that's going to take. Does it say hay somewhere? Hey, it takes a lot more straw pile. Not so much. So, what we might do is since the cows are over in this field for a bit, they're going to be here until we do the next uh, cut. 
so uh, we might see if we can get a little bit of bedding down in here. Oh, sh bloody walls, mate. How are they not got out? Who did that? Was that you? Do I need to send you off? Do you need to uh, be sold again? Right. <laughs> no, it was me. Right. So this should uh, allow me to drop some in here. There we go. And it should, uh, this means it's not a lot, but it should start to appear sort of as bedding on the grate eventually. Perhaps we need a little bit more for that to start showing. Oh, there's a little in there. You can see it. Just in there. So uh, I shall uh, go and get some more. We've got. Uh, I think maybe like two and a half rows. We'll go this way. Two and a half rows of straw left to get, so... It won't take long. It's taking a little bit longer than I expected it would, but these jobs always do. Um, the capacity <laughs> isn't as much, or isn't as great as I think it is, and I think our yield is a little bit better than I always expect, so... Let's create a little extra on the, on the work front. So we'll uh, just get back to doing this. Yeah, we don't go at light speed. 11 miles an hour. But I think when you've got a little bit of music on and you're just chilling, chilling in your tractor out in the field, you've got your tunes on, as I like to do, have a little dance, have a little sing song. It's not too late in the day. It's all good, it's all fun. I'll tell you what, I think we're going to fill this and then have to come back again, although that is only a half strip. So I guess we had two and two half strips, so three strips. Strips? They're rows. They're wind rows, man. They're not strips. Chicken strippers. I like chicken strippers. I just like food. I think I said before, yeah, I'll be trying to cut down on the poundage. It's not going too well, people. If I'm ever going to get a camera, I can't, I, I can't be this fat. I got to lose weight again. It used to be this big. <laughs> it's, it's embarrassing. The uh, weather's getting nice. Try and get out more. Get, some, get a little bit of extra exercise in. Always easier said than done. Now, I used to... Um, a good few years ago now, I used to live in the gym, like, I used to love it, and getting that mentality back is quite hard after, you know, quite a few years of, uh, really not <laughs> caring too much about it, um, yeah, that, that has now caught up on me, I just think it's another one of those things where, sort of, where we live now, that isn't, <laughs> I've had a look, there isn't a nice gym, and although you don't need, like, I'm not, I mean, I'm not talking about, like, a posh gym or anything like that, although it's nice to have a posh gym, I used to uh, be a member of a uh, really nice, back when they were, uh, still Virgin Active, a uh, Virgin Active gym, oh, that was so nice, yeah, you wanted to go, just, it was like, luxury, absolute luxury, anyway, but even just, uh, like, a pure gym, I'd be more than happy with a pure gym, but there just isn't one out here. They're all a little bit, you know, dingy, <laughs> worn out, which is probably good. It means people use them a lot and they're decent enough gyms, but. You know, I just don't want a little bit of luxury when I go to the gym as well. <laughs> just need to stop focusing on that. I just want to get something and chuck some weights around. And... What I'm waiting for is for the boy to be old enough to get in the back garden to teach him some kickboxing and jiu-jitsu and stuff, but that's a long way off and I'll be completely crippled by then, unfortunately. Because I still have all my old gear from when I used to train and when I used to fight, so it's all still there, ready to hand down. <laughs> My missus did ask me, why are you keeping all that stuff? Well, for starters, it costs a hell of a lot of money, and uh, I've got to try and get the boy into it when he's bigger. This should be the last load. It's now five o'clock. 
I thought we were going to get that all in. So uh, sorry for the extra trip for those of you that were expecting us to come back at the end and say goodbye. Either way, I thank anyone who reaches this stage in one of my videos or in one of my episodes. I appreciate you so much. You are wonderful people. And uh, when when I can, I am going to start doing things to reward those, to reward good behaviour. No, this is a thank you to those that are really, truly supporting the channel and support my content and enjoying it. So, uh, yeah, when we get to a stage that we can do that, uh, you guys will be <laughs> the first on the list of people to reward in some way, shape or form. I don't know how, but you can't rig it, you can't have a competition and say, ha, ah, but this person won, so I don't know how we'll do it, but we'll definitely do uh, competitions and stuff at some point. I'm not a big fan on small channel giveaways, that's pretty much just buying subscribers. And they only come for your giveaway and not your content, so they don't actually stick around. So I don't do that. I've never been inclined to do that. But once we reach a more established channel size, we will certainly be uh, looking into stuff like that. Let's see if we can get a little bit more in there. That bed, that bed don't look full, so we can definitely get some more in. They are happy enough. We'll uh, have a little look and see what sort of milk these ones are producing. They should be doing pretty good. They need to come through with me uh, paintbrush and get rid of the grass that's coming through, though. So we have uh, milk 6,730 litres. So we've nearly got a trailer full. Or a, or a tanker full here. And I should imagine we've got a few leads in the other ones. We probably have got a milk tanker load to sell. Um, so yeah, that's good. If I have a little look here, you can see that these ones are nearly fully uh, pubertized. They've, they've nearly reached puberty. They are going through that. And these ones down the bottom here, 70% the way through uh, reproduction. And there's 20 of them. So, in however many months this will be, probably three or four months, we could get another 20 cows, which is actually quite a lot. <laughs> uh, our brown Swiss, they are... Oh, wow, our first lot of brown Swiss have started reproducing as well. So that's probably come, come spring. We'll get some more. And that'll be another 18 if they all do one each. That's how that works. So by next, by this time next year, we could be looking at another 38 cows. And we've got 62. So we could be at 100 cows. I will buy some more as well in between. Um, but we could be looking at 100 cows. Where um, <laughs> did I park the tractor? <laughs> 100 cows this, uh, this time next year. Which is uh, awesome. Right. So, since I've got this on the back, and I do have a lot of hay that's just randomly lying around that meadow, I am going to go and pick that up. But, this is the end of today's episode. Um, we've got our harvesting, we got our straw in, I've filled the um, robot feeder, I've put some bedding down, I did put, you didn't get to see it, I did put some bedding in the other one as well, ready for that. So that's, that's how much straw we got. We got enough straw to fill the robot feeder. I put a whole um, loader wagons worth of straw in the other barn, and I think we put two or one and a half, two in uh, the uh, the front uh, barn. So that's quite a lot. So we got quite a bit done. Now next episode. We're going to be sorting out getting our field ready for the next sowing and whatever needs doing to that. And we do only have, um, I think, maybe two, sort of two episodes uh, a month to uh, sort out the partition in that field uh, over there. So 
next time out we're going to be getting that done so we're getting trees done we'll get that hedgerow dug up we'll remove that and we'll sort this field out because then when we harvest the sorghum uh, we can get that field ready and we can instantly go into um, planting all our wheat in this these two and in that one because these two will become one when to become one i think that's like the third time i've sung spice girl songs <laughs> in my videos so we're gonna stop so uh, yeah hopefully you've enjoyed today's video and like i say feedback is more than welcome it is required it is a requirement that when you watch a farquhar video you give feedback so let me know what you think to the things i said to the things i ask at the start uh hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn your bell notification on find out when new videos are going live as always comments and feedback down there let me know what you think you guys have yourselves a wonderful day thank you for watching thank you for getting this far into a video and i shall see you all again very soon bye bye